from our live. Hi everyone, uh, happy November 11th. Today is Veterans Day and it's Facebook Live Friday. Normally I do these out and about, um, but today I'm trying something a little bit different. I'm using my little uh, studio action here and um, hey Rachel, uh, just really wanted to kind of touch base uh, as far as Veterans Day. Now, the difference between Veterans Day and Memorial Day is Veterans Day, we're thanking all the veterans um, that served versus Memorial Day, we're um, really remembering the ones who lost their lives in service. So, if you're wondering what the difference between Veterans Day and Memorial Day is, there you go. And um, a little fact is that it turned into Veterans Day in 1954. Before that, it was Armistice Day, which was an agreement between... Um, the Germans and the Allies that ended World War One. So um, that is a little bit of information for you. Now, um, gosh, there's been so much going on, and uh, I would say I'm fairly a uh, political person, and it's hard to know like um, how much to stand up for what you believe in and how much to not rock the boat or make other people mad or. Um, you know, that's just it. And I guess I'm, I'm really talking specifically from a faith standpoint. I would definitely say that this past um, week, uh, I mean, there's other things going on uh, in my life, of course, but it, it affected me. Um, the tension between everyone um, uh, was tough to deal with. And, and I don't know if uh, any of you watching have experienced this. I mean, it was really like you, you, how I felt towards my friends didn't affect how I felt towards my friends, but uh, sometimes it, it's just, it, the election obviously has been, and and then we're still dealing with um, a lot of repercussions. I mean, about half of the country wasn't going to be happy either way, right? So um, what I, um, I kind of did a little online research and just in thinking about, okay, so um, we've decided how do we move on together as as Americans, you know, I mean, even even today uh, with Veterans Day, I feel like it probably kicked things up for a lot of people also. So um, I thought of, um, well, I kind of found and, and scooched around um, online to think of some rules that uh, we need to remember. At certainly, certainly if you call yourself a Christ follower. Um, and again, that does not always um, mean that you're perfect. I do find that this election has kicked up some things in me. Um, I've said some things about politicians that uh, some things were just true and some things were uh, mean. Um, so I'm not perfect, you know. I'm a I'm a I'm a work in progress also. So I think it's really important to remember. I mean, like it boggles my brain how anyone couldn't see things the way that I do. But that's the beauty that God made us all different. Um, so the first thing to remember is that this world is not our home. Like we're we're just here for a little while, right? Um, and, and God's always in control. And I know that um, can sound a little cliche, um, but I mean, it's the truth, right? Uh, so far, there has been, um, you know, the, the, uh, the, no one's lived forever, right? I mean, no one's just lived forever. We won't go into, um, uh, except for Jesus, right? Because he got resurrected. But I just mean, like, we're all going to die. So, like, this isn't it. And it's really hard for me to remember. I mean, I really find that um, in 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 my faith and in my journey that it's an up and down type of thing. I mean, some days I'm all up there with Jesus. And some days I'm just like, bleh, bleh. that's how I feel inside. And that's like even sometimes what I hear coming out of my mouth. And um, so so for sure, I do feel like this um, election has done that. So so just to keep in mind, this world is not our home. Like, he's in control. There have been worse, more corrupt uh, rulers in the Bible, and, you know, they made it through. So, um, so it's not, uh, regardless of what you think, you know. Um, number two, be the change, right? Start with you. Um, I... Uh, First, uh, actually, I did not mean to recite verses, but um, I think it's First Chronicles seven fourteen that just says, um, "If my people will humble themselves and pray and repent of their sins," and I think it's it's so easy to see the sins of our politicians, aren't we? I mean, wow! I mean, it just seems like 
we just really uh, scrape the bottom of the barrel in, in, in some situations. But I mean, this really goes back to that, you know, seeing uh, the speck in someone else's eye, you know, seeing the speck of wood in someone else's eye and missing the two by four in our own, you know, have, have we never lied? Have we never said things um, that we hoped that our boyfriend, girlfriend, spouse, family, friends wouldn't have heard? Have we, you know, so it's, so it's really that it's, it's, it's be the change. I mean, we, we get it. Like they, these people are super, uh, I mean, they got a lot of, they got a lot of issues. So that goes without saying, but when, what's that? When you point, when you point one finger, you got, you got three more pointing back at you. So, um, so, you know, I, I know we don't like to talk about the word sins, but I think it's, I, uh, I, maybe that's part of the problem. You know, it's that, um, we're always expecting, uh, other people to fix what really um, has to start in here. Because, I mean, really, I mean, God says the kingdom's in our heart. So um, it's, uh, we can't always be projecting that everything's out there. Um, number three, I, it's pretty obvious, but just, you know, um, pray. Uh, if you don't believe in the power of prayer, do some research because it's out there. And, you know, I say that, and in the same breath, I forget. I fall off the prayer wagon. I fall off the reading my Bible wagon. Um and even one of the reasons that I wanted to talk about this today is I just feel like I got out of the groove and it's so easy to get caught up in the world and to think, oh, Jesus, you don't get it. Or I mean, maybe that's just me, you know, but it's like, I'm, I'm, we have to fix this thing, you know, and we forget that he can do so much more than we can ever do. And just, um, not only is praying good for other people. I mean, you can, you can go online and find people that didn't know they were being prayed for and hospitals. And there was another room and people were praying for them. I mean, thoughts are things, you know? So, so thinking about the way that we want it, instead of just sticking our feet in the sand about how things aren't the way that we want is definitely, um, a step in the right direction. Uh, y'all are, uh, welcome, welcome to comment. Um, if, if you want to have anything to talk about, I mean, that's really, I guess the whole point of the Facebook live is that there can be interaction, but, um, I don't, I don't know, maybe, <laughs> maybe not. Um, number four, um, actually I should have done this one last because I thought this, you know what, I'm going to do that one last one. Number four, um, stand firm. And this is kind of something that I definitely struggle with. Right. And I think everyone struggles with it. That's just the thing. It's like, it's not black and white. And I think we really want it to be like that. Oh, thanks, Susan. <laughs> um, it, it's, it's not black and white. I know that I want it to be that way. I mean, it, even as I grow close with God and I feel like he starts bringing me things that I want in my life, I'm like, okay, I got it now. I, I, I got it. I got it. I got it. Um, but, um, Right. You're, you're, you're right, Melissa. I mean, we really do. I mean, it's, we are still all brothers and sisters, you know, and we all still are part of this great country. And, um, I know that is e maybe easier to swallow if, um, uh, your candidate won, but I mean, pretty much every four years, about half the country feels this way. So, um, if you are frustrated, you're in good company. And if you are relieved, uh, you're also in good company. And it's where do we find that balance between saying, um, this is what I believe in. And I think that's the difference. It's, it's, it's tracing it back to the Bible. So we're not just saying this is what I think and, and whatever. And, and even when you trace it back to the Bible, I mean, it's like, well, well, he says that, you know, I have total grace, but like do every, you know, do live right if I love him. And it's like, but both of those things, but I guess really that's just it. I was listening to, um, a sermon recently by Beth Moore and she was saying, whatever you hear, whatever you believe, just make sure you can trace it back to the Bible. So whether it's something that your pastor said, or, I mean, they're, they're just people too. What, something that I said, I mean, trace it back to see what does God say? Uh, that was something else that she said. If, if there's something in, in, in your mind that you're not sure if that's the truth, what does God say? And if you can't find where God says that that's the truth, it might not be the truth because He's put a lot of truth in that, um, in that, in that Bible, right? My mom says it's a stance, an acronym for basic instructions before leaving earth. So I thought that was pretty cute, right? <laughs> Get ready. Cause, uh, the second part's coming. Okay. This was number four, but I really, I want it to be, um, number five because when I went this year for the pray for America, um, that was downtown at the Capitol, uh, Franklin Graham put it together. And one of the things that he said, I just got goosebumps thinking about it. He said, run for office. Um, 
I think so many of us don't even think about that. I mean, I'm like, I can't run for office. I got too many things going on, right? And that's what everyone's thinking. But but then we can't complain if the only people that are running for office are people that we don't think have the character that represent us. So, um, you know, something that he said is you would be surprised um, how little of a commitment that it could actually be. And I don't know about for you, but just the idea that um, running for office, um, that's a good point, Melissa. Yeah, exactly. Um, running for office scares me, right? Because as soon as I think about running for office... I think now everyone's going to judge me and now all my old stuff is going to come up and I don't want any part of that. So I think that's important to remember to give our politicians some grace in that area because I'm pretty sure that's a big reason that a lot of us don't want to run for office, right? We don't want our whole lives and all our mistakes on display for everyone. But we have freedom. and we If that's what we say, then that's what we have to believe. And um, we just have to listen to that stir in our heart that says, maybe you, maybe you're the one, maybe you're the one that needs to go and run for office. Maybe you're the one that needs to show people uh, what it looks like to have character. Maybe you're the one that needs to be in a private meeting where someone offers you $10,000 for a favor and your son needs to go to college and you, you know, maybe, maybe we need you in that position. So um, I think that is, uh, uh, so I guess there's just really, um, you know, three things. What, what, what did you, what are you saying? Susan? Yes. Individual Christians do need to step up. You know, I think sometimes we're always waiting for someone else to do it. Um, I mean, honestly, just anytime I talk about my faith on video, I feel like I need to live under a rock because I don't want someone to see me do something that is going to embarrass Jesus or, um, you know, make them think that faith isn't a real thing, but, um, we don't have to be afraid and we're, we're, we're no longer slaves to other people or the world. And I need to hear that. Maybe I'm just talking to myself. So here are three things that, um, we need to do. One, we need to pray for our nation. I mean, we're one nation. I mean, I, I one nation under God as far as I'm concerned. So um, I, we, we have a lot of chaos, and I, I, I truly believe we can um, bring it together. Two, we need to pray for our leaders. Um, you know, re regardless, uh, I we're supposed to pray for our enemies. Um, and, and definitely, like, praying that your leadership fails is like, you know, praying the pilot crashes the plane. I mean okay, you, I guess you, you proved your point. That, that doesn't make any sense. We're, we're all in this together, and uh, we do have a system of checks and balances, whether or not we all agree with that, but we do have a system of checks and balances going on in our country. So, um, again, be the change. If it's not exactly the way that we want it to be, you run for office, right? I'm, I'm the first to say that I just love to yappity, yappity, yap. But, you know, put your, put your time and your money and... Um, I mean, maybe not your money, but I'm, I'm sure running for office would end up costing you money uh, in the long run. So just, you know, put, put, put your time where your mouth is. And then, um, number three is just love your neighbor and, uh, it's hard, you, you know, but something that, uh, C.S. Lewis said once is that love doesn't mean like, and I think we all know that, but he, he gave the analogy of, we love ourselves, and even though we don't always do the right thing by, by ourselves and we don't always um, treat ourselves what, like we like ourselves, at the end of the day, we want good things for ourselves. It, it, it's, it's, a, it's a love that, that I, I, I think it, it, it's inside of us, and that's what we're supposed to feel for our neighbors. So uh, when you find yourself getting all and the world is, you know, whatever, I mean, that's... Humble yourself and pray. Uh, that's what God says. And, and that's what I'm working on, too. I do not have this figured out, and I almost didn't want to talk about it because I so don't have it um, figured out because uh, politics gets me fired up. So um, that's pretty much it. I, I really appreciate you guys. Uh, thank you for joining, and um, I hope to take some of the advice that I wrote down on those cards and share it with you. And um, I'd love to see here if you have any advice on... Uh, how we can start rebuilding our country and, and, and make it a better place. And um, it, it, it can.
can be. It can be, right? One person has changed the world before, so why not you? God knows every little hair on your head, and there, he designed you for a special uh, purpose that only you can do. So if you don't do it, if, if, if you're living in fear, it, it just won't get done. So um, I know that's heavy. So that is it. I love you guys. Have a great Friday, and I'll see you next week. Bye.